I, I did. I don't, he's not here. I need to preface this morning um, two different ways. I'm going to do something that's been on my heart for years to do. And, and if for those of you who have been a part of Access Service where Pastor John has asked me to bring the word, you know I'm unconventional at best. Uh, I was told by uh, Bill and Christine Pruitt that they still have their Wendy's cups sitting on their desks. That goes back a little bit. Uh, somebody else said, yeah, there's, there's a couple of Wendy's cups floating around. Uh, if you missed that one, I won't uh, belabor you with it this morning. Um, I've had more than one person come up to me and say, you know what, I was really inspired to blow things up. Um, and again, I won't belabor you with that one. So uh, you're probably looking at the band and like, wait a minute, what in the world they're doing? Um, I've asked them to stay because I realize most people who logically attempt to, but- to rebuttal religion want to take the emotion out of it. They want to say, give me something concrete. Give me something I can look at, I can hold, I can measure. I don't want to talk about emotion. I don't want to deal with emotion. We're very emotional people, and today, in fact, I want to appeal to your emotions. So I take, if if today is amazing, and you you walk out, you're like, thank the Lord, then give all the credit to the Lord. If today stinks, then you can put it on my shoulders. Don't blame God, because it was my idea. Um, And I'm talking about movement today. And I realize in your life, there are seasons of, of movement. And I'm going to get in a whole bunch of them. But there's also times when you do need to rest. There's times when you do need to sleep. I'm not talking about those times. So with that done, um, come, come along with me. We're going to spend some time painting a mental picture. We're going to take some time appealing to your emotions. <coughs> if I can get the frog out of my throat. And we're going to see what God has to do. I would like to submit to you this morning, you were created to move. You were designed to move. Everything about you promotes movement. We are able to do things that the animal kingdom cannot even comprehend or fathom. And to prove my point, if I were to sit in this position long enough and talk in this tone for enough of a duration, I already hear people shuffling because this isn't very entertaining. In fact, some of you are probably saying, please turn the lights up a little bit. I'm feeling a little drowsy. But if I sit here long enough, you begin to feel antsy. You begin to shuffle. You begin to try and engage your mind in a way that you don't have to look at me anymore. Because you were created to move. And in fact, if you stay in a position long enough, your body begins to shut down. Your body begins to die. If you stay in a position long enough, muscles begin to atrophy to the point where they'll no longer work. Because you were created to move. And especially if there's silence, it becomes awkward. Because you were created to move. I would submit to you this morning that even in the womb, you were created to move. I don't ever remember a baby going, ooh, a jacuzzi. I like this. I remember when my son Isaac was still in the womb, it was, come here, feel this. Yeah! There's a foot. 
There's a, no, I won't do that. That'd be weird. I'm this way. No, I want to go this way. No, I want to go this way. I want to go here. Stretch out. Ah, what? Man, you, ah! You're pushing on my hips. Let's go this way. You were created to move. Even in the womb before you were born, you were moving. You weren't sitting. You weren't standing still. Again, preface, there are times and periods of rest. That's not what I'm talking about today. And you come out. And you're bored. And the doctor goes, ha. And you don't go, ooh, that feels good. You start crying and bawling and stretching legs out and moving and twitching. And the only time you stop is when you go, and you sleep. And then your body rests. And then I'm awake again. I can't see anything. It's all really fuzzy. But I'm going to look around. I'm going to bobblehead. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to burp. And I'm going to puke. And I'm going to fill my diaper. And I'm going to move. Because you were created to move. You were designed to move. And it's only because of age and our bodies shutting down because we live in a sin-filled, messed up world that we stop moving. That we have to get wheelchairs and walkers and medics. It's only because we no longer live in the garden that we stop moving. God designed us in the garden to be there forever, to move eternally with him. It was because of a choice that God said, I have to change things. You were created to move. I have a band up here today. I love music. I'm the nut job in the car, driving. You pull up next to me. I'm beating on my steering wheel. I'm the guy bebopping and dancing. Mandy makes fun of me all the time because I'll be in the kitchen singing. I got a song in my head. I'm just, and especially now that my son loves all these really great TV shows. I have all these kids songs that are the catchiest thing in the world. You just, you sing them all the time. Oh, the pirates, don't do it. Music moves you. And again, today I wanted to appeal to your emotions. So that's why I asked them to stay up here. Because I want to you to get the understanding that you were created to move. I've never met a person at a concert of their favorite band. Unless they're a teenage girl and it's the Beatles or the Jonas Brothers. I've never seen a fan just go. No, it's especially if you're in the front row, man. You're sweating, dripping. You're Long screaming, wet your hair, crazy. That's your teenager. Oh, he's so cute. Ha ha ha. Oh my god, he's sweat. Touch me. Right on my arm. Ladies, don't laugh too much. I've seen video of the Beatles and the phenomenon, so don't. It's not far from the truth. Music moves you, it, it connects inside of you. If you sit long enough, I even have teenagers who are like, you know, Pastor Doug, I found something really interesting. Depending on the music I listen to, depends on the kind of day I have. If I listen to kind of mellow, jazzy, kind of chill stuff, that's kind of the day. But if I listen to high amp stuff, it's, I'm all, no, I didn't do drugs, thank you. I'm just naturally, I move a lot. Music moves you. By most professional standards, I am not even a subpar sports player. I don't even know if I'd make the B team. I might make the bench, guard the water cooler, but I love sports. I don't love sports watching it on TV though. My favorite thing to do relative to sports is go to a stadium, go to an ice arena, Go to a ballpark. Go to a set of bleachers where there's a packed house, where there's an excited house. And I love to sit and I love to watch because something happened. 